Hello everyone and welcome to Byteset. In this video I will show you how to uh, store uh, basically tasks of a to-do app into core data. Um, a to-do app is already been uh, built and um, I will show you one second how it runs. But I built this, we built together basically, I built this app uh, during the last uh, video so if you haven't if you want to see how how the app was built you can just please have a look at the, the the video before this one I will I will put a link in the description uh, below but basically just to give you a recap what we have is just a simple to do app so we can just type uh, uh, a new task and add uh, and then plus uh, another task and uh, and so on and then we can of course, check and check things that uh, are done. Yeah. Oh, we could we could uh, delete them as well. So so we built this this um, uh, to do app and we were storing things. So we we have like some kind of a, a kind of model class called tasks. And uh, and then on uh, on loading time, so we we added uh, code into our uh, app delegate and uh, and scene scene delegate. So the, the task has two basic methods. One was load. So at startup, so at startup means app delegate uh, right here uh, in this, uh, after previous, uh, yeah, sorry, right here. After this, uh, basically we can call uh, tasks.get uh, instance.save. And then, yeah, and then it will save the task. And then here we can have another method, uh, which is the uh, application will terminate. So right in here we can do the same thing. Task. Uh, actually, here we can save it. Obviously, get instance dot dot save. And also, I like to do this in scene delegate. Um, we will remove this statement. We can keep that for now. But tasks dot get instance.save so basically we load all the tasks at start time and that uh, when the app basically launch would boots up in app delegate and uh, right here in this method did finish launching with options and we save uh, just before the app will terminate and also each time the app goes into the background so here when the app goes into the enter the background we also save uh, our tasks. However, if you can see here, the saving part is done via transforming our task into JSON and then and then just saving it in user defaults. Now user defaults, yeah, it, it's a, a, a very simple database just meant for being to be for um, key and value and value pairs. Uh, it, it to do uh, to do up like tasks. We can still store tasks that by kind of maybe the limit of usage for user defaults. Uh, probably task will uh, fit better into core data, which is a more proper database. So so let's uh, so let me show you how how to do that. So first, I I basically re reproduced the old to do app. The only thing I did uh, differently was that when I create a project, I will show you here. So I think we can still create a project file, new uh, project. Uh, and then yeah, I selected this as normal and then I click next. Then I give it a name and the interface was storyboard and, and the language was Swift. And then I, I made sure this was clicked. Use core data. So I'm gonna cancel this because we already have this project. So what happens when we click that is um, Xcode creates this file for us, which is kind of the place where we can start to create entities. Entities are basically, uh, an entity is like a class and also like a table, uh, I would say in, uh, in um, yeah, in, in, in core data. And uh, and also it did two, two other things. It put some code in our uh, app delegate so here it gave us a method so that we can easily uh, save um, basically the context, which means uh, all the object of all the entities that we have in, in memory 
will be saved with this call by calling save context. And, uh, and here basically just creates uh, our persistent container. Uh, yeah, right, right, right in this, in this, uh, in this function. And we don't need to, basically, we don't need to do anything else. Everything else is kind of done for us. And ah, oh, and I think also in scene delegate, it, yeah, it added this method, which saves the um, uh, saves the context basically each time each time the app goes in the background. So what we're gonna do now? We're gonna modify our tasks class, and uh, and the, instead of using uh, this struct is going to use an entity is going to use an entity task or a table task that we will create in uh, in here in our uh, to do code uh, data uh, model so the first thing that you do is you add entity so you click here and then you create this entity for for us we double click on it and we can call it tasks then here we can click uh, the class and basically we, we can recreate the exact same uh, uh, we can recreate these so we only need, need two fields we need the task uh, the, like which is like the type of task and then if it's done uh, or not so we go back here and we can we can oh sorry okay so here we can have tasks and uh, we and is of type stream and then uh, and then here we can have done and we can make a type uh, boolean like that. So, so now we have this entity called task, which basically is replacing these. So we can we can remove this now, and we can assume all these tasks now are basically um, this one, are basically those one in uh, in here. Now, yeah, this often uh, happened to me like you cannot find the task uh, in scope even though we just uh, declared it here and, and i've saved it like several times so normally what happens to me what what what, uh, what make what makes a fixer for me is that if i turn this off uh, stop the task and then start it again uh, then kind of this normally fixes it let me see let me see if this fixes uh, yeah, uh, yeah. As expected, it it has fixed it. So so now it's not complaining anymore about tasks basically here. So so now this task is as as we as we say it is this one. So what is it complaining for? Let, let's let's uh, sorry. Let's go and check uh, our tasks. So it's complaining here because we are trying to JSON encode um, the like a, a class which is. Uh, which is also a table. So we're gonna remove this because we don't need to JSON encode uh, this data uh, anymore. What we need to do instead is retrieve, uh, basically retrieve a context from the, um, from the, yeah, from our code data, basically. So the way we do that is, uh, I'm gonna create a method uh, called, yeah, private function uh, get core data context. Oh, and this is basically it's going to return um, a, 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 con a context object. And now to, to return the context object, we need to import core data here. Core, core data, okay. Okay, let me go back here. And, uh, and then the object should appear as here. Uh, Management, uh, managed, sorry, managed object uh, context. Yes, that's it. Core. Okay, so then we do if uh, let context equal, and now, now this one, this one is basically the same as the scene delegate. So we can copy from here. So we, we kind of need this pretty much all the time. That's why I I'm, I'm creating a method for it. So I copy this part and it goes here and, and here basically. Yeah, like this and then uh, as up delegate and then persistent, uh, persistent container, 
Um, what should appear? Instant container dot view context, and then return context. Oh, I should do this because if we somehow we can get a context, we should return. We return. We just return the value. Okay. So yeah, I cannot find the UI application. Oh, yes, because this shouldn't be uh, foundation, but we can type here uh, UI kit. So if we type here UI kit, it should fix this. Okay, great. So now in the uh, in the save method, again, uh, yeah, we don't we don't save in user defaults anymore. But we we already we actually already have the method to fix to save our context. We just we can, and we already call in saving here, so we can remove this here and uh, go back to our tasks and and just put it here. So yeah, so save will will save that, and then and then loading, we will do the same thing uh, here kind of if let context equals self dot get core data context and then I don't know if let empty uh, empty this equal try context dot uh, fetch and then we type task dot fetch request Okay, then if let tasks equal entities as task, then we assign it self dot tasks uh, equal tasks. Okay, so just to ma, recap what we're doing here. So uh, first, we we just had a, a kind of a utility method just to retrieve the context from uh, from core data. So. We always have this uh, just by calling get core data context. It, it give us uh, the kind of handler handler to our core data uh, context, and uh, and then so so we hear that. And then to save, we just use the uh, the save context method, and then to to load the data again, we we get a handler on the context, and then we do a simple fetch. Uh, we can use the task as an entity with fetch request, which means basically there is no extra um, parameter pass, so, so we are fetching everything. And then, um, yeah, and then 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 we just uh, kind of cast basically. We make sure this if this entity is of of type task, then we store it into our our yeah our task, which is which is this one. So now. We need to do a bit more of modification in terms of when we add the task and when we remove a task. So, for example, when we um, yeah when we add a task um, again we uh, actually we still need that method. So so we do if let as usual we get the, we grab a context so have to get core context and we, we keep this. We keep this in here, and then we do uh, let entity uh, entity equal. Oh, okay. So here we are passing a, a task. Can we pass a task? Or instead of passing a task, actually, it will be better if a task is is a string. We pass it as a string uh, in this case because we cannot really create. I mean, we could, but it's better to keep all the DB and model related operation in one class, so in the model class. So this is the task class. So we want to create basically all the um, yeah, all the data model, all the all the database operation. We want to keep it here in this class. So so we do uh, let entity equal tasks and then uh, context and is the context and then. Then we have the entity dot, and then if the task, because remember this entity basically is the task, so task equal the task that we just passed, task, and then entity dot done, it's false, false. Okay, and then 
and then I'll append entity actually here. We just append the entity. Okay, and this should be enough for uh, adding a task. And then and to remove a task, uh, to remove a task is kind of a similar, similar thing. If we if let context so that self dot uh, get coordinate context and then let task equal self dot we grab the task first uh, kind of uh, yeah actually to grab the task we can do this I think self dot remove task is actually returning a task so we can do uh, let task equal this so we are removing it from our uh, array and then we are going to delete it by c context dot uh, delete and we pass the object tasks and that's it that this should be enough to 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 basically remove the task uh, but like this will not run because we change the type uh, of this we change this string uh, used to be task so we should go back to add i think it's in the add controller as must be yes so here in the add controller yeah we were we were doing this instead so so the content is the content of the field so add the task uh we're just gonna do i think uh, yeah we're just gonna pass content i guess mm. yeah I think that should be it. I mean, the most, yeah. And then, as I show you before, we are we are task. We are loading it. Sorry, we are saving it. Oh no! On launch, we need to load it. Big mistake. We we load the tasks here, and we we save the task when the app will terminate, and also we save it when it goes into the into the background. And these are our and these are our, our operations. So save, load, add the task, remove the task, and all the rest stays more or less the same. So let's see if it's uh, still still working as expected. Oh, no, we have one error. Okay. So you define symbol type. Wow. Uh, not the task. I don't know what this is. Uh, I don't know. Let's uh, maybe we let's uh, product um, build information. What do we clean here? Oh, clean folder. Okay. And let's try again. Okay. Okay, so all right, so we have this task called another task, and uh, I think this is was from my previous testing. So let's see. So okay, so I, let's see. We can add another task. Uh, my second task, add task. So the task is here, and then uh, my uh, last task. Add. Okay, and this is here. So, so okay. We, in theory, if we, if we, uh, if I can grab this, it would be great. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's it. And then if we start again, loading. Okay. Yeah. The task appeared here. So we can delete this since we already done it. And let's try to. Uh, let me get rid of this again, start again, and uh, yeah, and that's uh, and that's here. So, uh, my very, very last task. Let's just do this and uh, let's make this and this done. Let's try it last time. Okay, yeah, and yeah, this works, and then. Uh, okay, and okay, and like this work. Okay, so 
yeah so that's it for uh, for this video today basically I show you how to um, how kind of um, yeah, is a little bit convoluted way of using a uh, core data is not super uh, straightforward the interface to use is a bit a bit ugly but in you know once you get some basic done like for example these things you know like uh, have a utility method then you know then it becomes not so not so cumbersome to store and uh, and retrieve data and uh, yeah thank you for watching and uh, please like and subscribe and uh, stay tuned for my uh, next video bye for now